This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours and holding. Our countdown is proceeding without any technical problems and our activities are on schedule. Final inspection team continuing their activities which have gone well with uh, no reported problems. And here we are in the crew dining room. Where we see the STS-87 mission emblem cake. Mission specialist Winston Scott will be doing the EVA on this flight. Mission specialist Takao Doi also will be doing an EVA on this mission. Our commander Kevin Kriegel for the STS-87 flight. Our payload specialist Leonid Kadinyuk from the Ukraine. Mission Specialist Kultna Chavla, who will be operating the RMS for the Spartan deployment. And finally, our pilot, Steve Lindsay, who will be working the sprint camera during the mission, among other things. suit up room with our STS 87 astronauts We're looking at uh, our commander Kevin Kriegel and here is pilot Steve Lindsay he'll be operating from the flight deck the small basketball sized uh, camera and mission specialist Kulpna Chopla will operate the remote manipulator system and deploy and retrieve the Spartan payload. Mission specialist Takao Doi, who will be participating in the EVA on this mission along with Winston Scott. And next to him here is Winston Scott, who will be uh, also doing the EVA during the flight, along with Takao Doi. And our payload specialist, Leonid Kadinyuk from the Ukraine, who will be investigating plant growth biology in space. This is shuttle launch control at T minus two hours, 56 minutes, 55 seconds and counting, where we see the STS-87 astronauts now are entering the elevator for the ride down two floors from the astronaut quarters to the astronaut van, which will transport them the approximately seven mile distance out to launch pad 39B, a ride which will take approximately 20 minutes or so. We see some KSC employees behind the uh, chain. The Astrovan now approaching the pad perimeter, where they'll then uh, leave the van and go up the elevator to the orbiter access arm and meet the closeout crew ready to assist them in boarding Columbia and into their seats. And uh, here we see our commander, Kevin Kriegel, preparing to board Columbia. And there, Takao Doi is the uh, mission specialist who will be boarding uh, next here very shortly, as soon as uh, Kevin Kriegel boards the orbiter. Well, this is actually a view from the flight deck, and uh, now he's climbing up into the commander seat. Keep in mind that uh, everything is in the vertical here. He's getting assistance from uh, another astronaut, uh, astronaut Joe Tanner. 
Right now he's just positioning himself in the seat. It's very important that they get in the seat straight. Uh, they've got some emergency oxygen bottles uh, strapped to their back on the harness, and then they'll be laying on top of the parachute. And they could be in there for uh, upwards of uh, three plus hours today. And it's very important that uh, he's in a position where nothing is uh, in his back. And there'll be two people working on him. There's several connections. Here you see Takao Doi uh, getting in into the mid-deck. And what we try and do here is strap one person at a time in both the flight deck and mid-deck. Uh, so this uh, Takao is MS-3, and he'll be uh, assisted uh, by another uh, strap-in personnel on the mid-deck. Now once uh, Kevin is strapped in and has his cooling and the oxygen hooked up, uh, they'll begin to put on his helmet. And that uh, core there will be hooked up for his communications. Following his strap in, they'll do uh, some communications checks just to make sure that uh, everything's in line before they move on to the next uh, crew member. Here's a shot of Leonid in the white room. Looks like he's got his harness on and he'll be waiting to, to be the second person on the mid deck. There's uh, the pilot, Steve Lindsay, climbing into the flight deck. He'll ask Steve to reach up and grab two handholds. And this particular maneuver here is very similar to just doing a pull up. He's pulling himself up into the seat, getting his feet in position. Uh, Joe, you see, is holding on to his uh, emergency oxygen bottles to keep them on each side of the parachute. And then they'll begin the process all over again of getting Steve positioned uh, correctly on the parachute for comfort. Here's a great shot of Leonid. Uh, he's in the seat now, the second crew member on the mid deck. They'll be hooking up his cooling at this time. This is our first flight of a Ukrainian on the shuttle. TLS, what is it? TLS, go. Yeah, 534, pick up at the clock. Okay, TLS copies. So we need a CMTC on channel 162, and we need to read step 535 on the OIS. NTD, MS-1, comp check. MS-1, this is NTD. Good morning, I've got you loud and clear, KC. Good morning, Doug. I also have you loud and clear. Attention all stations, this is the NTD performing a launch status check. Verify ready to resume count and go for launch. Say go, no go. OTC. Go. TBC. Tank and boost super go. CTC. Go. LPS. Go. Houston flight. Houston flights go. Myla. Miles, go. SPM. SPM, go. Safety console. Safety console, go. SPE. SPEs, go. LRD. LRDs, go. SRO. SROs, go. You have a range clear to launch. And CDR. Columbia's a go. And I copy all. Launch director of NTD. Launch team is ready to proceed. Copy that. I'll do a poll. Payload director. Payload for go. Engineering director. Engineering, go. Safety and mission assurance. Safety and mission assurance is go. Range weather. Roger, sir. No construction launch. Copy that. Ops manager. MMT is go for launch. Copy that. And Columbia looks like we're ready to go, uh, so we're going to proceed. NTD, you're clear to launch. And have a great mission. TLS is go for over to access arm retract. Columbia OTC, close and lock your visors, initiate O2 flow, have an international Thanksgiving, and may the roll go your way. Thank you very much. 20. Firing his cane is uh, now armed. 15. 10. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Main engine start. Five, three, two, one, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Columbia on a mission combining science and the practical aspects of space.
Roll program, Houston. Roger, roll, Columbia. Houston now controlling. Roll maneuver complete. Columbia now in a heads down wings level position headed to a 150 nautical mile orbit. Incline 20 and a half degrees to either side of the equator. Three engines on board Columbia now throttling back to 67% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure in the lower part of Earth's atmosphere. Engines now ramping back up to 104%. Columbia, go at throttle up. Columbia's, Columbia's three liquid fuel engines are now back at full throttle, 104% of rated thrust. Altitude now 11 miles, downrange distance 8 miles. One minute, 30 seconds into flight, with more than two and a quarter million pounds of propellant having already been consumed, Columbia now weighs half of what it did at liftoff. Stand by for the next major event, which will be the burnout and separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. That coming up in a little more than two minutes into the flight. Altitude now 20 miles, downrange distance to KSC 19 miles. Booster officer confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters. Columbia, performance is nominal. Nominal performance. Commander Kevin Kriegel now uh, rolling a videotape uh, shot uh, from a camera mounted on the uh, forward flight deck of Columbia looking back aft. On the right side is uh, Commander Kriegel, left side Steve Lindsay in the foreground, Flight Engineer Winston Scott directly in the middle behind them, and to his right, uh, Mission Specialist Kulpna Chavla. This uh, video uh, of the launch, there's main engine start and liftoff. kind of looking for that when we saw it. It was really pretty smooth. 